here to celebrate transit, my favorite subject. I am Rebecca Martin, the director of Blacksburg Transit, and it's always a joy when I get to do one of these fun events with everybody. We're going to celebrate some businesses and individuals that got together, went across some jurisdictional boundaries, what I call grant boundaries, and found a way to do something that was needed for citizens. And I'm always excited about that. Montgomery County, um, the hospital, Warm Hearth, along with the town of Blacksburg, the Metropolitan Planning Organization. I always say, man, it really takes a village, okay? <laughs> we took everybody getting together and all these organizations to find some funding so that we could set a route on Tuesdays right now that could go between the Warm Hearth campus, so it circulates the Warm Hearth campus, and then it can also circulate the hospital campus and it's connected all day long. And what's really even better than that is it connects into the transit system so that people can ride to go anywhere to Christiansburg, get on the two-town trolley to Blacksburg and Christiansburg, um, and even ride BT access. <clears throat> and in fact, we have rides already set. And this young gentleman here, Jim, is one of the first riders going to ride the uh, Christiansburg route today to go anywhere. So I was really excited. So he scheduled it. So it's going to come from Christiansburg because council said it could. Thank you. And it can come all the way out here. So he only has to make one transfer to make it out to his destination. So that was really exciting to hear today. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you haven't had a chance to ride, please take the time today or any day that you'd like to. It is really fun, okay? And the people that ride are wonderful. They have great stories, and they love to tell you about them. <laughs> and so you can find out about people who are volunteering here, some of the people I've talked to who come here to volunteer, people going to doctor appointments, coming to the hospital, people who are going out just to try the local cuisine now and trying out just to see what's around the two areas and just really exploring and have now opportunities to them. So it's really fun. So if you get a chance, please go out and take a chance to have some fun. I'm not going to, right now what I want to do is really pass this forward <clears throat> to other speakers who are really the partners, the people that really made this happen. So what I'd like you to do, if, if you can help me welcome our first speaker, someone I really enjoy working with, someone that you may not realize has worked so hard for transit, he has gone out there and been fighting for local transit funding for us and is really a transit friend, the mayor of the town of Blacksburg, Ron Wardle. Thanks, Becky. And uh, thank everybody for, for being here. I'm going to put this back up here so I'm going to hold it. Can you all still hear me if I do that? Yeah. All right. Uh, probably you hear me if I don't even have it because I've been known to talk loudly. Um, and Becky was saying I have gotten very involved with transit over the last few years. In fact, this year I'm president of the Virginia Transit Association, which represents transit organizations all across the Commonwealth. And I just came back last week from a, from a meeting in Richmond talking about where transit is going, how better to deliver a message of transit, and, uh, and what we can do on a statewide basis to make people more aware of the option of, of transit. And uh, so, yeah, we, we seem to become a government and how we do things by bumper sticker. If it fits on the back of a car, it's probably doable. So I <laughs> racked my brains afterwards and thought and thought about what, what could we say that you can stick on the back of a car and really drive home the point of what is transit. And I finally came up with, and. Nobody else has said it's okay yet, so I don't know if it'll happen at the statewide organization, but I like it. Transit is a solution. Very simple. So the question is, well, what, what, what's the problem we're trying to address? Is it jobs? You've got to be able to get there. And you've got to be able to get to a doctor's appointment. Transit solution to help do that. You've got to be able to, to, to go buy groceries in the shop. Transit solution to help do that. It's not the only solution. But it's something that we need to think more about as we go forward. And uh, what I wanted to do very briefly, and, and uh, those of you who have ever come to town council meetings know that we have the three-minute rule. And uh, council members will remind me that also pertains to me. 
So I, I will try to stick within that three minute rule and Chris, if I go over, do the buzzer, okay? But, uh, but with that whole idea of transit is the solution, I wanted to acknowledge some people here today because this is a wonderful regional effort. And the people we're gonna talk about, and there's so many people in this area, Montgomery County, that get it, that understand that transit is a solution to some of the challenges that we have to deal with um, on, on a local basis. And for, I really got to recognize Becky Martin, our, uh, our director of, of Blacksburg Transit. Uh, I, I, after I did my, my, uh, my transit meeting, I tried to do a blog, and it's, it's challenging for me because I'm not a great writer. I'm a fast writer, but, but I did it. And one thing I said in that after the transit meeting was I'm always impressed with the people who work in transit across the state. And when I come home, I'm always extremely impressed with Becky and her staff. Everybody who's with staff trains, just kind of raise your hand, that, that are here today that make Blacksburg Transit, really, it's, it's the envy across the state, I think. And um, of course, I can't say that too much as president of the whole transit, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a little partial. But there are also local businesses and local groups that get it, that understand that. And uh, Lewis Gale Montgomery Hospital, we have Scott Hill here, who is, who is the uh, CEO, and Tim Haskin, where's Tim, who's Chief Financial Officer. Thank you, because it would not happen without your participation and, and your support. Uh, Montgomery County, Bill Brown is here, uh, who's the, uh, the, the Vice Chair of the Board of Supervisors. Bill's in the back hiding. Um, everybody knows Bill. And I know that uh, the Chair, Jim Politis, wanted to be here. But he's up in Washington uh, pitching his industrial hemp today. So, so he can't be here. But I know that, that he would want to, to be here. Uh, in the town of Christiansburg, we have Mayor Ballinger. And uh, the mayor gets it because, and, and it gets it so well that two years ago, he was honored by the statewide group um, and recognized for all of what he does for transit and things outside of the box. And we also have Jim Van Hoosier here, who's with the town of Christiansburg. I think Barry Helms is here from Tennessee, Barry is Barry. So again, you can see that this is a, this is a, a, a regional effort of everybody pulling together. Uh, with the town of Blacksburg, we have our deputy manager, Steve Ross, Mark Fennell, our manager, uh, our vice mayor, Susan Anderson, Krishna Chatra, who is uh, on council. And I'll, I'm not missing any council members, am I? No, did you say Craig Meadows? Craig, I'm sorry, County Administrator Craig Meadows is here. Thank you. And, um, and Virginia Tech has been very involved with this. Steve Morris has been involved as well as other um, tech folks. The MPO with, uh, with uh, Dan Brew. Um, I saw Dan around here somewhere. Thank you, Dan, and all the MPO supports. And everybody else is here with the MPO. Warm Heart Village. Um, Fern Moschella. Did I pronounce it right, Fern? Yes. Good. Fern is here, and and, uh, and we thank you so much for your support. Because again, without you understanding the role of transit for your residents, um, this would not have happened. So, uh, so I think it's a wonderful kind of leap forward. Uh, if I, was, I was telling Fern earlier, I got elected to town council in 1996, and uh, you know it didn't seem too long ago to me until I started counting the years and realized that was a while back. But we've been talking about trying to get transit to Warm Heart since 1996. So thank you so much for, for helping, helping make that happen. And then we couldn't be done without our statewide partners, the uh, Department of, of Rail and Public Transportation, DRPT. We have Jeff Sizemore back here. He's, he's in the back uh, with the grant and, and their help. Uh, we, we put this together. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and close, but I'm, I'm going to quote, or I'm going to paraphrase, Jeff's boss, uh, from who is the uh, director, uh, Thelma Drake, and it, it really hit home to me. We were talking about transit when she came by and talked to us at the association, and she said, you know, transit is not about dictation, it's about choice. You provide those transit choices, and it benefits everybody. It benefits those who want to ride transit, but it benefits those who choose to drive in their cars because there are less cars on the road. It benefits taxpayers because it's really, my, my, with everything I've seen, it's a lot less expensive to put a bus on the road than it is to blast I-81 forever and, uh, and, and you know, tear out the side of a mountain. But it's a lot cheaper than, than building new roads and expanding them. So, you know, thank you 
from the state level and for all of your, your help with this. So I, I'm glad we're here today. It's exciting. It's raining, but you know, there's never a bad day when you celebrate a transit success. Becky, I'll turn it back over to you. Okay, Scott, you would come up. Thanks. I promise I'll um, stay with the three-minute rule, maybe even the 30-second rule. You know what I mean? I want to thank everyone and, and welcome you all here to the hospital. My name is Scott Hill. I'm the CEO here. Uh, I've been here going on six years now, and, and we're really excited about this new partnership and this new route um, and, and the ribbon-cutting ceremony today. So the reason why we're really excited about the new Tuesday route is because of the impact it's going to have on patients. Um, as everyone who's here knows, um, oftentimes seniors have the most challenges, and they oftentimes have the most challenges not only with their health care, but with their transportation needs. Having a regular access to the hospital, weekly regular access to the hospital, will help seniors be able to plan better for the health care services that they need and be able to access those services when they need them the most. So we're really excited about, uh, about the route and, and the fact that people will be able to get here and. Um, take advantage of all the wonderful things we have here to offer, not only the hospital and the imaging center and the services that we provide there, but the many physician offices that are here on campus that many of the seniors need, need to access. So we're, we're really thrilled about that. Um, and I also just want to make sure I, I thank all the partners here, um, Blacksburg Transit, uh, the, all the county, Christiansburg, Warm Hearth. It's just really a nice opportunity for partnership here within um, the New River Valley, within Blacksburg, to expand access to services. And that's really what this new route is about, is expanding access and making sure people can get health care when they need it most. So thank you all and, and welcome. Mr. Bill Brown with the Board of Supervisors, Montgomery County. Thank you, Becky, and Becky and I, we go way, way back, <laughs> yeah, because uh, I don't know how many years ago we hired her from Fredericksburg, and I was uh, we were part of that committee with, uh, with them. Uh, good morning. It's wonderful to be here today to speak on behalf of the Montgomery County Board of Supervisors. Today marks a very important event, not only for the residents of Warm Heart, but the entire region. I will say this to the residents of Warm Heart that's, that's here, that some of them spoke to me four or five years ago about what's taking place here today. But I will say this, the wheels of government turns very slowly. <laughs> you can see the process that we went through. The Blacksburg Town Council, along with Blacksburg Transit, Lewis Gale Montgomery Hospital, Warm Heart Village, and the Board of Supervisors work cooperatively to support this project. First, by holding community meetings to talk to Warm Hearth residents to determine the need for transportation to Warm Hearth care and community services. And then, by working out a plan to offer this affordable and convenient transit service to more than 600 seniors. In addition, Christiansburg Town Council has also approved there, go anywhere around to go to the hospital on Tuesdays as well. I can't think of a better bargain out there than letting someone else do the driving for 25 or 50 cents. Cheap, cheap. <laughs> this partnership certainly shows what can be done when we all share a common vision and share our goals. I'm very proud of what our community can achieve when we pull together to make things happen. It reminds me while I'm up here is that it's a quote, and the quote is, service is the rent that we pay for living on earth. So the service that we pay means that we should leave it a little bit better than we found it. I hope everyone will let their friends and neighbors know about this wonderful service. And just thank you all for letting me be a, a small part of the celebration and, and ribbon cutting. Phil, and I 
I did go back a long ways. It was hard not to say chief. <laughs> Still how he will always be known to me and a wonderful person who helped me a lot when I came here. Um, next, um, we'd like to introduce to, uh, from Warm Heart Village, Fern, Michelle, I always miss that, Michelle, and Fern and I do go a long ways back because ever since I've been here, I think she has been asking pleasantly too, can we do service? Can we find a way to do it? And it is thanks to somebody who, who really cares that's behind the scenes, uh, Mr. Hill and Fern, who really make this kind of thing happen. So Fern, come on up. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It's a pleasure to be here today, and um, I'm, I'm not making a speech. I do want to say thank you to all of you, but I'm really glad that I was one of the last speakers today because I am truly humbled by hearing how deep the support for Blacksburg Transit um, serving Warm Hearth Village really has run. I have only been dealing with, I guess, the surface of that support over the past, as Becky said, 10 to 12 years. <laughs> Um, but I had no idea how many people have worked as hard as they have to make this service a reality. And so I speak from the heart when I say thank you to all of our partners, um, not only Blacksburg Transit, Montgomery County, Town of Blacksburg, Lewis Gale, Montgomery Hospital, MPO, but also to our residents who have persevered. Um, you say that I have pleasantly tried to push this along. Well, I have been pleasantly pushed by the 500 plus people who live at Warm Hearth Village, um, who would not let this issue die, um, but who continue to insist that public transit was something that was greatly needed at Warm Hearth and would enhance the lives of the people that we're here to serve. So thank you to our residents as well as all of our partners. Um, I see a nice handful of our residents here in the room today, and I know I've heard that Several of you have become regular riders of the Tuesday route. I thank you for that. And I hope that you will tell your friends and neighbors about the service so that we continue, can continue to grow our ridership and to continue to grow the service because I think it's what you want and what you deserve. So thanks to all. And it wouldn't be a ceremony if we don't surprise somebody who doesn't know we're going to ask them to speak. So, but this is somebody who I'm sure will do a great job. We're very excited. We have Christiansburg here to share. And Mayor Ballingy, would you like to come up and say a few words? And I'm going to go over here as you walk up. Uh -huh. <laughs> it will be very few, Becky. <laughs> Thank you so much for inviting us to participate in this program. I bring you greetings from Christiansburg Town Council and those hundreds and hundreds of Christiansburg residents that ride those buses every day. We thank Blacksburg Town Council and to Blacksburg Transit for extending the bus service into Christiansburg and it has blossomed and has uh, been much more appealing I think to our residents than we ever thought that it would. We have doubled our ridership in this last year. We're so pleased to be part of this connection with, with Montgomery Regional Hospital. And we look forward to those Tuesdays when our folks in Christiansburg will have access to doctors in this area and access to the hospital as well. So thank you so much for making it happen, Becky and, and Mayor Rordham, and all of those who serve on town council, either in Blacksburg or in Christiansburg, and Thank you, Mark Vermeil. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, everybody, we did the three minute rule. It's very amazing. Um, what we'd like to do now is we're going to get ready for the ribbon cutting. Is everything set? All right. Who's going to be our lead person walking out here? Eric. All right. Eric is going to take over now. He's going to help us with the ribbon cutting. And we really would like everybody to come out because we want to get some nice shots of pictures of everybody being here and a chance to really finalize that um, celebration. So he's going to give us what's happening next. It's kind of like a wedding. We're going to do a series of photos. <laughs> so those who spoke, we'll have them in the first set of photos. And then we'll cut the ribbon and they'll do photos afterwards of, of group of photos. We have several riders here and a variety of people, so we'll try to do some group photos as well. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.